getting some work done at the gym today. Here's some advice as far as becoming very elite. We see this all the time. Uh, so we start to fade out, start to panic. We uh, start reaching a national level. Then, you know, sometimes we feel like we hit a stalemate. The truth is this. A program like ours or a great program or even you know in a great college room they can only do so much that's macro training right they're providing the workout partners the drills the system hopefully they have a system in place and um, you know that hit gets you to a new level you're feeling excited well what happens when you start to feel like um, the progress is slowing very simple it's more micro things Right, so you it might be stretching, it might be working on your mind, it might be dealing with performance anxiety issues, it might be slimming down. You know, if you're 14 years old and and you you have a 21% fat, you need to get that down. Right, these things are going to make the difference and tip the scale. So think about your macro training, which is what your coaches and your camps can provide, but then it's the micro things that really help you um, in the long to to go from top five percent to top one percent it might be flexibility it might be your mind it might be your diet that might be working on your main setup that might be might mean footwork right it might just be strength maybe uh you know 40 percent of the athletes you wrestle every year are stronger than you you're at a disadvantage right that's 40 percent. that's four out of ten four out of ten wrestlers are stronger than you that's a huge disadvantage because at the elite level you start getting into the top five percent of the kids in the state or, or the nation then you say well 90 percent of those kids are stronger than me right how about diet did you eat a half a box of uh of uh sugary cereal last night before bed it's gonna cost you right you don't have to be a health nut but we can't be good doing that right um think about the micro things from a technique standpoint, how do you score mostly? How do you almost score? How do your opponents score on you? How do they almost score on you? Write down those four columns, fill in those blanks. Now you have a practice plan. See, that's micro. The team is, might be working leg riding defense, but you might say, hey, I don't need this. I'm having a hard time getting to my feet on bottom. I'm not getting shoulder deep on my leg attacks. When I drop my level, I'm not coming up in a check mark fashion on my opponents like I should. That's, I'm, I need to work on that extra six inches of level change. That's micro. Those are the things you need to focus on. So I'm at the gym. You can check it out here. We're at perlerwrestling.com if you had any interest in training with us. Um, we have, there's my office there. I've got a room in there too. We have uh, 7,000 square foot over there, a couple thousand, 17,000 total. There's a, a, a viewing area. The last day of camp, we invite parents to come watch a practice if they want. We put the kids to the entire camp right before your eyes. And um, here's a girl's locker room area. Oh, messy girls left some stuff in there. Here's our second wrestling room right here we got a bunch of dummies over there we have greco season bunch of state champs yesterday and i'm not just saying that for camera we crushed it bunch of bathrooms here for the boys of course we have showers you're not going to have to wait in line for five hours to take a shower at my gym they, they shower three times a day we do skin checks before every practice we do skin checks before the camp starts. We're very, uh, we're on top of it, right? So this is our wrestling facility. We have a 8,000 square foot bunkhouse over there. This is 9,000, that's seven, a couple thousand over there. So 7,000 square foot bunkhouse, 120 beds, two coaches rooms, constant supervision. Uh, we have kids coming from Alaska, Hawaii, even Japan this year for camp, Germany last year. And, uh, you know, we got 10 acres out here just outside of St. Louis, Missouri. If you wanted to come check us out, see us at PerlerWrestling.com. We had over 700 state champions so far just in our academy, not even including our camp kids. Uh, we've been around since 1999. We launched the world's first online wrestling academy uh, last month. So you can check that out if you want four-part process to learn the sport of wrestling, similar to how karate and gymnastics learns wrestling. That's what we do. But um, we have locations across three different states, 
hundreds of athletes train with us every week. Athletes driving as far as seven hours round trip to train with us. Some elite wrestlers have come through our program um, over, over the decades. So um, a lot of the famous college kids came through our camps as kids. They went to the other great camps too, but Jacob Warner from Iowa, Nick Lee from Penn State, Daniel Lewis from Mizzou, four-timer. He trained with my brother as well. He's a uh, an academy kid as well. So we've had a lot of elite athletes through these doors. And um, now that we have our own facility, this is our second year to own this. Our camp game is taken to a new level. We have a girls only camp. We have competition camps on the weekend in case anybody had interested in those. It's an easy way to get 40 matches worth of live in a weekend versus spending $600 on a so-called national tournament and getting 11 minutes of wrestling. Uh, for 175, you get an overnight camp, five sessions. As many as 60 state champions and medalists come to most of those camps. And uh, those are a great option as well. Private team camps, we travel the nation doing those, but our camps are here in Missouri. We have uh, about 70 days of camp lined up this summer. PerlerWrestling.com if you had interest. And uh, otherwise, good luck, but take my advice as far as becoming elite. Once you get elite, it's more micro. It's more what you can do for yourself individually. The little things, tipping the scale, uh, you know, little ounces and feathers and anything you can stack over on the scale to tip it is going to be vital. Uh, it's no longer the coach's job. Like they t told us, Oklahoma State, we can make you a very great wrestler, but if you want to be world class, you have to do that on your own, guys. And they said, look at that wall. They showed the all the Olympians and NCAA All-Americans that were there and said, any goal you have in wrestling can be accomplished here. If you do not meet all of your goals at Oklahoma State, it is your fault. Look in the mirror. We can't do it for you. We can get you very, very close, but if you want to be on that wall, you have to put your own personal time in. It's your fault. If you do not accomplish your goals here, it's your fault. And I heard that speech more than once. And about four years ago, John Smith gave it. I was watching a practice. My son had a visit there, and he said it again. And, you know, that just comes down to the micro training which is more on you you have to take responsibility so good luck and uh hopefully you guys enjoy these videos check us out on youtube we have 650 of these so far